So this is a short video, crap to cream video. My MG is now away um, and will be coming back maybe November, December. I got the original workshop manual, uh, which was in a, a ring binder and the rings were quite rusty. So they were ripping pages out. So I got a, another ring binder and got protective covers and then put everything in there. So now I can't rip the pages out and end up with them all over the place. Labeled up all the sides so they're relevant to the contents so they're easily found so you can get stuff. Any bits and pieces I get, extras like the chrome to bumper conversion and uh, various torque settings and suspension. I put all this in this folder now so that it's all in the same place. Manuals, got, got the regular manual and also got a restoration manual for those little bits of hints and tips that you need to know what to do, when to do it. Cheapy camera so that I can take photographs of everything. Dymo labeler so that I can Dymo everything, label everything so that I know where everything goes. In here I have all my electrical wiring looms, um, indicator stalk, all those sorts of things and all other various bits that I don't want to get dusty and uh, wet, impossibly wet. I bought a old truckload of bolts so that I'm never short of bolts. Sorted them all out into one of these little trays so that you can find the size you want with washers and everything else. And all, as the car came apart, I then got it into plastic bags and labeled everything up so you can find everything. What it is, where it goes, what it does, um, everything like that. So I did have the engine in here as well, but because the engine was a separate component, I put the engine parts in a box over there so that it was easy to do when I was rebuilding the engine. So the engine's rebuilt now. Got the electronic dizzy on it and uh, yeah, all those other wonderful things. So the downdraft carburetor, some negative stuff about that, but I've got it on this one here and it seems to run fine. So I'm quite happy with that. So yeah, always keep it covered up. So don't get any bits and pieces in it. On the shelving, um, I have everything sort of where it came off, it's labeled. The fuel tank has got a glove over the filler neck so nothing goes inside. Various bits and pieces. There's a long stroke press for axle work, engine hoist, gearbox which has now been cleaned up and is on a wheelie trolley, which is quite handy to have. I've got the dollies ready for when it comes back, for when the car comes back so I can move it around the shed easy. All the bits and pieces are all labelled up so that I know what they are, where they come from. All the new bits and then the new bits are sorted out here so I've got exhaust, suspension, electronics like switches and bits and pieces like that. Clutch, coolant hoses, heater box, yeah, clutch, all the gaskets are all over there. And the centre reservation, yeah. Dashboard here, I'm going to strip that down and repaint that. The rotisserie ready for when the car comes back so I can put it on the rotisserie and spin it round to do all the underside work before I put it back on the wheels. Spare MG just in case I need one while the other one's away getting painted. So yeah, a bit of work gone in on that one. Bit of an experimental one this, so I've tried out different things in here to make sure they all work before I go for the real thing on the other car. Small sandblaster, tool trolleys, lots of tool trolleys. Ultrasonic bath cleaner, a little mini lathe for doing some bushes and all little bits and pieces like that. Little wheelie trolley. Good quality um, axle stands for putting the car on when you're underneath. You don't want it falling on top of you. And then there's a shorter press. I've got, a, got the two for one deal, so it wasn't too bad at all, really. And something to stand on. And uh, yes, that's about it, really. So that's just a bit of a lessons learned and some of the stuff I've got that I found useful when um, starting in, on this journey of uh, overhauling and stripping car back to nothing and rebuilding it. Okay, so yeah, end of part two. Part three hopefully is I'll go and visit the car at the facility where it's being fixed and get some pictures of what the work, the work that's been done so far. Okay, no problem.